Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Thrive Architect landing page tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do a content reveal as well as page re redirection. So if you're new to the channel and you want to learn how to do more to market your message in less time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Remember, it's not about faster, it's about focus, and today's focus is on Thrive themes and specifically content reveal and page redirection. So what you'll see here is a squeeze page or a landing page that I have set up how to create passive affiliate income funnels to provide real value, building trust and convert visitors like crazy. Enter an email address. Of course, if I was to enter an email address right here as an example, what you'll see is you'll see you'll be able to get free access to the next page. Once it goes through the there we go so now it's landed on this page and as you can see congratulations your training email is on its way as you know the internet's a busy place things get slow right here check your spam folder be on the lookout for this email you see this little gif it's loading click here if you're not redirected but you were redirected and of course it was redirected to a relevant offer which is funnelytics about how to map better funnels so what you saw there was thrive architect in action doing page redirection okay so let's hop over to our wordpress site and inside our wordpress site right there you can see the squeeze page and right here is the passive funnels thank you redirect page so if you were to click edit what that'll do inside your wordpress dashboard it will take you to your page which is the passive funnels thank you page and of course you click thrive architect what that will do that will launch thrive architect and as you can see here on the page you have your typical thrive architect with some text right there so you can see the text more text some more text right there you can see where i loaded the little the little image which is a gif or gif of the loading and of course the button that you could press if it doesn't redirect but the key in all of this is the content reveal and the content reveal section is right there and as you can see under main options redirect to URL and you paste in the URL that you want to redirect to now you find that up here on this side under elements and you just go content reveal and there it is content reveal oh, there's a little reminder I haven't saved it in 10 minutes that's okay so I'm not looking to save it and then of course you just click on content reveal and it drops it at the bottom and then you can drag and drop wherever you want your content reveal to, to go. All right. So now that is the redirection that you just saw. And that's exactly how you set it up. Content reveal, redirect to URL. It's that simple. So that's one aspect of content reveal, which is redirection. But let's say we were to add a new page. So if we were to go back to our WordPress dashboard and go back to add new and in this case we're going to go ahead and add a new page when that opens up you can see here that I've added a new page called test content reveal I went ahead and save that as a draft save that as a draft and then you'll click launch thrive architect which will take you to the page so you can launch that and then that'll launch the page. And then once that page is launched, what we'll do is we'll play with content reveal a little more. So let's say, for example, instead of page redirection, you want to do a content reveal of a button under a video. So what we have here is a blank page. So we'll just go ahead and keep this simple. And what we'll do is we'll add a video. So if we were to add a video here, so here you'd have a video, but then you want a button under here. So you go ahead and you would add a button. And under here we'll have a button. But let's say that you only want that button to display after this video has played. So let's go ahead and insert a video here. So right here, we're going to add this video. We'll add the URL, and I have a URL of a video from a YouTube channel. Go ahead and we'll add that video. And you can see that video will populate right there, which is the Funnelytics Pro review that you saw earlier. And here's the button. But say inside this video, which is, you know, say at the two-minute mark, you have a call to action to click the default button, but you don't want the button to show up until 
you until you announce your call to action. So if you were to look at this right now, let's just go ahead. Okay, we had a word fence issue there. Go ahead, hit save. Go ahead, we'll save that. And then if you were to save and exit, we'll go ahead and show you what this page looks like. This page is going to have a video and a button right there. There's the button. But again, say we were playing this video and we don't want that button to show up. Let's say we want it to show up. In this example, we'll just make it five seconds for ease of use. So we'll go ahead and go back into Edit Thrive Architect. And we'll wait for that to load up here in a second. And then what we want to do is we want a content reveal. So add element and look for content reveal. And you grab the content reveal right there. You put that right there. Whoops. Running out of space. Click to add or direct, drag or drop an element from the right hand panel. So then you want to take the, the button and you want to put it inside of the content reveal. We want to get rid of these columns. Make sure it's right there. So now if you check out the breadcrumbs at the top, you can see the button is inside the content reveal. So the page crumb shows the page, the columns, the columns, the content reveal. And then if you were to select the button, you'll see the breadcrumbs right there. Just example, if you were to click, click on the text, you'll see inline text, button, content reveal. So again, the button is inside the content reveal. We'll go back on the breadcrumb and click the content reveal, as you can see right there. And we'll say right there, you just set this to, let's say, four seconds. And you go ahead and save your work. And then we'll save and exit. And then you'll see right here on the page, the button will not display until five seconds into the video. So now you have the page, you're watching the video, press play, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. There's the button right there. So as you can see, that's how content reveal works. It allows the anything that you put inside of the content reveal again We'll go ahead one last time just so we make just 100% clear on this that the object that you want to reveal goes inside of the content reveal box. So again, you have your video, you have your box, you have the content reveal, and then inside you have the button again seen at the breadcrumbs at the top, page, columns, column, content reveal, button. And then the content reveal settings are over here. Reveal content after minutes and seconds. And that's it. So if this video was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. And like I said, this is Gary Baker with 30minutemarketing.net. And I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.